me crooked. <laughs> okay, so I know it has been a while uh, since I made a video. I would like to start making more videos for you guys, and today I'm gonna do, as you saw by the title, a thrift with me for fall. Um, I'm at the first thrift store, and I'm probably not gonna bring you in there because it's more like a yard sale thrift store because it's tiny. Um, but let me show you my list. So I have a wish list of things that aren't necessarily all fall, um, but things that I want to look for. So I'll just show you everything. Um, so the first thing is old gringo Myra boots. I don't think I'm going to find those in a thrift store anytime soon. So, <laughs> um, I want some Hey Dude shoes, which I might just end up buying from like Poshmark or something. Some cow print shoes. And I want like sneakers, cow print sneakers. So for my actual fall list, I would like a western blazer. So something like western print, like vintage or like leather or something. Girl, what are you talking about? You already have a leather blazer. And then I would also like a western jacket. Kind of the same thing as the blazer. And then I would like a western sweatshirt. Um, something like Aztec print or like um, a graphic design on it and then I would like a cropped corduroy jacket I would like some oversized tees um, some longer ones and if I have to like alter them if they're too wide then I'll do that um, an oversized flannel or two or something a chunky cardigan a black mesh long sleeve I do have one but it's um like floral prints, so I would like a plain black one or one with stars or something. And then I would like some corduroy overalls, which is stretching on that one, but um, if I have to make some of this stuff, that'll probably be like other videos too, because I want to get more back into sewing. Um, I'd like some light wash Wrangler jeans, some wide leg jeans, um, and wide leg trousers, and then also some like cute joggers and possibly like two-piece sets. So that was quite a bit. Um, Guys, I literally found like none of this, so you'll be seeing me make a lot of these items in my next few videos, so stay tuned for that. Um, but it's just kind of everything I'm looking for for fall, so yeah. Anyway, let's, um, I'll see you in probably like the next thrift store or something. <laughs> I'm seriously kicking myself for not getting all of these. I got one of them, and that'll be in my haul for decorating my hutch. So this bowl I was thinking about getting for my hutch but I ultimately did not get it and then I did get this pot that is also going in my hutch and again that will be in that video. I did get this but I got it from my mom, so I didn't show it in the haul.
so I just got back from thrifting. Um, but I'm not going to show you guys what I got. Probably until tomorrow because I have to work tonight. And I've also come to see Luna. I don't think you guys have met her yet, but if you follow me on Instagram, you have. This is Luna, my Palomino Mustang. She's four. So, I am back. I've got everything washed. And um, I have all the clothes here to try on for you guys. We'll just start off with this top. This is a free people top. And I thought it was really cute and I was trying to like keep up with the trends, but honestly, I hate it. <laughs> like I just don't think the square neckline is um, flattering on me. It just, it makes me look so wide. Like I'm already, I'm not like broad, but I feel like I'm kind of broad for my size. Um, so I don't like it. <laughs> And I just, I don't know. I just don't think it's for me. It has a beautiful like purple floral detail on it. It's like a knit, you know. And it is, I think it's really cute, but I just don't think it's for me. The next item is this jacket. It's plaid and it has a fuzzy inside. It's not Sherpa. It's also an extra large. <laughs> so... I wanted, I wanted something oversized, and I think it's cute. It has the hood, which I'm not like a huge fan of the hood, but um, I think it's fine. But yeah, oversized, checkered, like buffalo plaid. It's nice. I like it. Okay, next is this kind of... Uh, I was going to say bomber jacket, but it's not really a bomber jacket. It's just a jacket. But it's got this really shiny, kind of silky, burgundy material. And it's cropped. I love the length of it. And I just think it's perfect for fall. The fit is really great on it. And so I'm going to be making my own jackets. Stay tuned for those videos. And so I'll definitely be using this as a pattern to make those jackets just because the fit is perfect. I don't know what that was. <laughs> it's perfect. Next, I have this super oversized um, houndstooth. It's kind of houndstooth and plaid, if you can see. Like there's some houndstooth, but that's more plaid. So it's like houndstooth and plaid. So it's kind of cool, but it's very oversized. Very long, it's great. The only thing I don't like is the shoulders. There are shoulder pads in it. However, they're sewn in into the lining. And so I really want them out <laughs> just because I don't like the way that it looks. It just, it extends too far for me. I don't mind shoulder pads, but I would prefer it to be actually on my shoulder instead of out here. So I'm probably going to have to seam rip it and take those out. Okay, you guys, this jacket is seriously amazing. <laughs> um, look at it. It's so soft. It's red, it's got horses on it, and these silver buttons. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> the cut of it is really nice, so it's straight in the back. Then it comes down to a point in the front. So that, definitely that western detail. And um, Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder <laughs> to make sure that I'm in frame. I'm gonna try to look at you. Okay, <laughs> so the only thing about this is that um, it smells like an old lady and I washed it and it still smells like an old lady. Like you can walk past it and smell it. <laughs> and, um, so if you guys have any tips on how to get that out, because like I said, I washed it and the smell is still in it. Please let me know, um, if I should like put it in a bag and absorb the smell with something. Next is this Cruel Girl shirt. It's not fitted, um, because it's a medium. And I'm a small, but I don't really wear white. Like, I have hardly anything white in my closet. I thought that this was perfect. Not for fall. This isn't for fall. This is for, like, spring and summer next year. But it has, like, the holes and um, the flower print on it. 
and um, like it's western so I love it but the other thing I really liked it is it has the pearl snaps on it and I thought this would just be cute either like over you know a, a cropped tank top and some shorts or I could button it up and like tie it up to dress it up a little bit more and I just don't really wear white but I thought that this one would be okay because it's very breathable <laughs> um, so I don't know we'll see how I feel about it next year when I style it this knit a top I love there's just a couple things that I don't love about it um, for one I don't like the length what I would want to do is like take this whole tan bit off and crop it like there I think that would be a good length um, cause I don't, I don't like really short cropped shirts. That's just not a style that I'm into. Um, like this to me is not cute. <laughs> um, I don't have any problem with anybody else wearing it, but to, I just don't like that length. Um, so I think I want to crop it like that. And then the other thing is the arms kind of fold over a little bit weird. And I think the problem is, is that this is not stretchy, like it has hardly any stretch to it at all. So what I think I could do is put like elastic in here or like along the bottom. I don't know. I'll have to play around with it, but I do love it. It's just not very stretchy and I don't like this. <laughs> so I have to play around with it a little bit, but otherwise I really like it. I love the print. I love the short sleeve knit style. This is just a basic black turtleneck um, it does have kind of like the last one a little bit of weird issues with it but this one I can size down for sure this one's like really stretchy so <laughs> I'm not too worried about like taking in the arms a little bit and I don't know I think I probably will crop this one too probably about the same length as that one so, I actually love this sweater so much. It's, well, it's not really a sweater, it's just a knit waffle fabric. And it has this cute, like, ruffled collar on it. It goes all the way down. And then the buttons. And I just, I love the fit of this so much. It's just like one of those things that you can just throw on and look cute, which I need a lot of the time. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Of this one okay, so the last um, top item <laughs> is this pink like baby pink wool blazer and I just love this so much it needs to be lint rolled <laughs> um, the only thing is the sleeves are just kind of short like not too bad it's wearable so I might take out this it's a half inch seam which is like normal but I'll probably do like a quarter inch seam just to make it just a little bit longer in the sleeves. But yeah, this blazer is so cute <laughs> and such nice quality. It keeps me so warm in the fall and winter time. Anyway, let's move on to bottoms now. Okay, so the first bottoms are these um, kind of straight leg. Um, Old Navy, I think they're, wait, are they Old Navy? Yeah. They're Old Navy blue jeans. They, like, have, like, a vintage fit. <laughs> they fit really nicely up top. And the legs, the only thing is that they're just, like, they're a weird length. <laughs> so they're just, like, a couple inches from the ground. And then... <sighs> I don't quite know what to do with them. I might have to do something with the bottoms or just like turn them into capris. I don't know, but I really like the fit of them around the waist and the butt. They fit just about perfectly. I mean, they're like a little bit tight, but not like so much to the point where I'm just bulging out of them. So yeah, anyway, I love these ones. Next, we have these um, Wrangler 20Xs. I think they're men's. <laughs> um, yeah, they fit really nice too. And they're just kind of that like looser, not like really loose, but like not super skin tight throughout the legs. And go down to a straight leg at the bottom. But I love the fit of these. These are so nice. <laughs> 
And I think these will be perfect paired with like my moccasins or I don't have a pair of Hey Dude shoes yet, but I want to get some <laughs> or like similar ones. But yeah, they would be really cute just rolled up. with some sneakers like this so yeah these are perfect okay so these ones I love these so much <laughs> um, they're like vintage roper jeans they have like the vintage back cut to them without the pockets um, the thing that I love about these and usually you don't find this in vintage jeans and I don't know if this is like a new vintage style um but they're so stretchy like the waistband is so stretchy and <laughs> the, the pants are really stretchy like look at that so they are kind of tight in the waist but because they're stretchy they're not bad these are just a straight leg style as well so again they would be cute with like short boots or sneakers or something like that yeah that that's it for jean here's the skirt it's this snake print button down skirt with a slit at the bottom in the center um and it's just really stretchy it actually is like i mean it's not tight but it's not gonna fall down either so it's fine but i just love the style of this so i had to get it <laughs> Um, yeah, just a simple skirt. It's really cute. Okay, I'm so out of breath now. <laughs> you can probably hear it in my like commentary, like how hard I'm breathing. Whew. Okay, but um, I have to leave in 25 minutes. <laughs> so, and I don't think that's going to happen. So I have to tell Dalton Small that I'm going to be late because we're setting up for the garage sale today. Um, but I just have these three things to show you and then I'm done <laughs> I'm like speeding through this because I have somewhere to go but anyway so I got three belt buckles as well so I'll show you those these one this like is my favorite belt buckle that I've ever found there we go so it's just this bronze boot buckle <laughs> I think it's so cool and then we've got this one it's just a plain well, not like plain. I mean, it has a cool design, like floral design on it. I forget what you call this style, but yeah, it's got silver, rose gold, and gold in it. And the last one, of course, because I'm obsessed with horses, <laughs> is this horse buckle. Okay, guys, that is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for some more thrifting thrift haul videos and sewing videos if you like western fashion content then this is a channel that you should subscribe to but anyway thank you for watching i'll see you next time